Good evening and welcome to the Cardinal Way for Men Live. My name is Ed Cardinal. I recently began reading the book, The Placebo, You Are the Placebo by Joe Dispenza. He starts the book by telling a story about how he fractured multiple vertebra during a triathlon when he was hit by a car. So he compressed and fractured these vertebra and he had multiple prognosis and input from various doctors that told him he needed surgery. He needed to have those vertebra fused. He decided not to go in that direction. And what he did is he, he lied in bed for numerous weeks, visualizing his spine healing and rebuilding. Everyone thought he was crazy. His doctors thought he was crazy because fragments from his vertebra could easily go into his spinal cord and paralyze him. But what he did over those weeks worked and he healed himself through his thoughts, through his beliefs, through his visualization and through the use of his imagination. So now he's teaching others and educating others about the use of your, of your thoughts. Thoughts, your thoughts can also cause harm, also kill you and impact your health in a negative way. How many times have you heard of someone who got a, a diagnosis and a prognosis of cancer and that they're only going to be able, able to live six more months? And within those six months to the day, they die. But I've also known people who have received that same prognosis and they didn't believe it and they're still living. So the, the power of our thoughts should not be underestimated. I, I have someone I know who knew about this principle and used it to his advantage. His grandmother was diagnosed with a blood cancer. She only spoke Italian and he told the doctors, don't tell her, and she had a short amount of time to live, according to them. Don't tell her what is wrong with her. So he, he spoke with her. He told her that they were going to be giving her medication to help clean her blood, to help her get better. She lived for 10 years because she did not know, she did not receive that prognosis that she only had a short amount of time to live. So what is this concept of our thoughts? our thoughts and how our thoughts can produce these various types of results. Well, our brain is a projector and receiver of frequency. So we, we put out thoughts through what we think, through what we feel and what we believe. It goes out and we attract back what we put out. So it's, it's called the let law of attraction. This is, a, this is a universal principle. It might sound like, and some people are going to th think it's metaphysical mumbo jumbo, but there is some solid research that, that uh, backs this up. So you also will attract similar people, people who are having and thinking the same thoughts, who have the same frequency of thoughts, emotions, and, and feelings. And that's the principle, like attracts like. So let me give you three practical ways that you can practice on a daily basis to help clear up your thoughts, make them, make them better, to help attract better things to your life. And I've discussed this at various points in my Facebook Lives and my podcast. The first one is gratitude. 
gratitude and appreciation is at a very high vibration. So keeping a gratitude journal, every day write two or three things that you have in your life at that time that you're grateful for. So you're not focusing on what you don't have, but you focus on what you do have and what you're grateful for, particularly if it's around your health, grateful for what you do have and what you're able to do with your, your physical body. Be specific and heartfelt when you think about what you're grateful for and when you're, when you're journaling. The second is visualization. So you want to be specific about what you want through your visualization and also input emotional intensity. So, so think about what it is that you're visualizing, how you would feel if you receive that, or maybe visualize a time in your past when you, let's say, for instance, you're dealing with a health crisis. Visualize a time in your past when you had vital health and how you felt when you had vital health and bring that into your body and visualize what that was like at that time in your life. I've heard of someone who had cancer and they visualized an army attacking those cancer cells, attacking them and, and killing them. And through that process, uh, help themselves get better. Visualization also dissolves mental barriers and limiting beliefs. So it's a, it's a great tool to have in your toolbox and you can use it uh, any time. Number three, affirmations. So using affirmations on a consistent basis and also bringing emotion into those affirmations. You could put up post-its on your mirror in your bathroom or throughout the house with affirmations. It could be a, a, a mantra, my body is healthy, vibrant, and strong. Something like that is, is a good uh, affirmation to repeat over and over again um, throughout your day. And I believe it's also important to verbalize your affirmations to to help manifest them and i'm going to give you a, a bonus i'm going to give you a fourth i'm not going to discuss it but i will tell you what it is it's meditation and hypnosis is also a great way to uh, clean up and improve your thoughts i've done a facebook live on meditation i've i've recorded a podcast with uh, a, a guest um, a friend of mine, Jay, on meditation. And I'm going to post the links to both of those so you can learn more about meditation. Hope this was helpful. And until you see me again, be well. Take care. Bye-bye. Be, be positive. And you'll be amazed at what you attract to your life. Take care. Bye-bye.